In this video with the Onking, I'm going to show you how to upgrade or downgrade your Anki version or how to have both installed on your computer at the same time. We're going to start out here on the Anki main page where all the magic begins. And if we scroll down, you'll see that there's all the downloads. And uh, recently, they've started listing the previous stable releases where things seem to be pretty stable. Most of the add-ons work. Um, so if you're starting new, that's probably where I'd recommend. And then they have the latest release up here as well uh, because some of us like to try all the new features. And then if you really want to get exciting, uh, you can try the betas. Uh, as you can see, they're on the uh, beta 30 when I'm recording this video versus a 29 that was just released. So uh, there's all sorts of different things. Uh, unless you really do understand Anki and stuff, I would not recommend the betas. Uh, they're kind of fun, but I personally will test them for you. Uh, and I, that's why I pulled up my Instagram page here is that I try to stay ahead of this um, and let you know what add-ons are going to break. You can see I've got a story highlight on Instagram. Uh, we've got a Facebook as well if you don't have an Instagram. Uh, but you can see it's just easy for us to make a quick video as opposed to making a full YouTube video. And here we can show some of the features that are in the newest version. And then towards the end of this here, um, I have one quick thing that explains which add-ons I know to be broken. Um, and so I just try to use that as a quick way to inform the public what's broken, what's not. Uh, but if you look at, if we go back to this main page here, there's this changes. I've already clicked that and opened it. You can actually go through yourself and see what has been changed in each version. I, I would recommend that as you're updating. I think it helps so that you don't get caught off guard by something that's totally brand new. Uh, but let's go over to Anki real quick. I'm going to show you how to first check which version you're on. If you're on a Windows, it's actually going to be under the Help menu. But if you're on a, on a Mac like me, it's going to be under Anki and then About Anki. And you can see here's what version I'm on currently. I'm on 2.1.30. Um, so you can tell which version you're on. Um, and, and Damien, who wrote Anki, actually releases a new version every month or two. They come out pretty quick, so it can be difficult to stay on top of. The first step you're going to want to do when upgrading or downgrading, really, is to go to add-ons and check for updates. This is pretty important. Uh, you can see I don't have any updates, but a lot of times add-ons are updated just to work with the new versions. So then assuming that we go here and we download the latest whatever you want, uh, I'm going to go now to I've got two screens open. I've got the downloads where I downloaded this 2.1.30 and then I have all of my Anki apps. Now I didn't close Anki. Normally you would want to close Anki first before installing this. Um, I think it will make you do that anyway, but you're going to do that. And you can see I have multiple versions of Anki running. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But this is the main one here, Anki.app. That's what it probably looks like on your computer. Now, if I have the new install and I click that to install it, it's going to pop up and then it's going to say, hey, do you want to install this? I look, again, Anki.app, I'm going to pull that over. And it's going to say, wait a second, you already have that. Well, if I click replace, it's just going to replace it, update it to the new one. And then if I click and open it, it's going to act just like new. It's going to be great. Um, on a Mac here, you can also keep both if you want to, but I'm going to show you a better method uh, that I think is a little more organized. But yeah, if you click replace, you're good to go. You updated. Everything should work perfectly. If you want to run both on your computer or multiple like I do, what I recommend is right-clicking and renaming the app. It's the same sim similar process on a Windows. And I'm just going to name that 2.1.30. And it's not going to let me because I have it open right now. But if I didn't, it would rename that. And then if I went to install this, it wouldn't cause any problems whatsoever. Now, here's an issue is if you're needing to downgrade. Um, sometimes we download, like, for example, 2.1.28 had a lot of add-on breakages. So let's say you wanted to go back to 2.1.26. Uh, there's an important step that has been introduced in recent versions. You're going to go to File, Switch Profile on Anki. Uh, and this is very important. You're going to need to click Downgrade and Quit. Uh, because there have been some changes, and so this will change it back so that it's backwards compatible and you can then use it on previous versions. So you would need to click downgrade and quit, and then you could go and open any of the previous versions, including, if you really wanted to, Anki 2.0, uh, which isn't really supported anymore. Now, the last thing I want to mention, if we go back to this page here, uh, is that as you are updating, you will find add-ons that break. You'll find things like that, and like I said, I try to stay on top of it. Uh, and let you know and let the add-on people know, but sometimes I need your help as well. So here's an example add-on, Rememorize, and most add-on pages are structured similar to this. You can see here's the bug report. Uh, this is either going to be at the top or the bottom. 
of the add-on page. And then if we scroll down to the bottom of this add-on page, right before the download link and the reviews, right here are major changes. And most add-ons will list this every time they update. And you can see that they have added a fix. So if you are in Anki, I'm gonna open this back up, and you click tools and, oops, tools, add-ons, and you click check for updates and it has a pop-up instead of no updates available, it says rememorize, needs to be updated. I would recommend going to the add-on page and looking for the latest date and saying, wait, why did you update this? Oh, it's because there's a newer version and it looks like they did this to update it. That will help you better understand your add-ons and that's what I do with every add-on so that I'm better able to help you guys. Now, if you find that it's truly broken, I would recommend finding the bug report link. Like I said, it's either gonna be at the top or the bottom and clicking on that. I've opened this up. And this, it's usually gonna be a GitHub link. You're going to need to make your own account. Uh, and then you go to the issues tab here and you click new issue. And you copy in as much information as you possibly can tell, to tell that add-on author what's going wrong, what version of Anki you're on, and you know when the error code pops up. That will help them so that they're able to fix that add-on and update it for everybody. Now lastly, if you're having a problem within Anki itself and not necessarily with an add-on, you can go back to this main Anki page under the support tab and it's gonna pull up this awesome thing, which is great. I would highly recommend searching through this first to see if there's any issues, but if you can't find an answer to your question, you scroll down just a little bit and here's the Anki desktop and you can click on this and go to the user forums uh, and, and basically post on here and say, hey, there's an issue. And Damien, who is updating Anki, can see that issue and know whether or not he needs to update things. For example, in one of the most recent ones, in the browser under notes, clear unused tags stopped working properly and somebody reported it and they were able to fix it. So be sure and report everything as you can and enjoy all of your updates. Thanks for learning with the On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, OnKingMed.com, for more tips and tricks.